The 22.20 downtime update just got leaked here in Fortnite Season 4, and this is going to be the biggest update we get in this entire season, bringing Fortnite mirrors, map changes, new mythics, bosses, free rewards, and much more. Make sure you guys keep watching. This is an exciting video with lots of stuff you're not going to want to miss. And real quick, we got to head to the item shop and send our daily gift to a lucky subscriber. The X23 skin is finally available, so we'll send her as today's gift. If you guys want to receive a gift in a future video, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed, to the channel with notifications turned on and also leave your epic usernames down below so I can add you and send you the gift. And a big shout out to everyone using code NERP2 in the Fortnite Adam shop. You guys are absolute legends so thank you so much. I appreciate the support. So first things first, the reason we know the 22.20 update is right around the corner is because it was actually recently added to the staging servers which data miners were able to find. In case you guys don't know what this means, that means that Epic Games is actively testing that update and version of the game to make sure there's no bugs or kinks so that way when they roll it out there is no issues with the update and along with this update is going to be the fortnite mares event for 2022 or this season of fortnite which is very exciting and the main reason we know this as well is because epic games actually released two official teaser images which i will throw up on the screen that actually show leaked fortnite mares characters and skins that actually say October 18th. So that's pretty much a confirmation that that's when the update's gonna be coming out. It does fall on a Tuesday, which makes a lot of sense. And considering we have this teaser along with the staging server just recently found, it is confirmed that this update's gonna be coming up on October 18th, which is Tuesday. And luckily for us, a lot of the information about this year's Fortnite Mares event has already been leaked, and we're gonna be covering everything you guys need to know throughout this video. Oh my god, dude. I suck with that gun. All right, there we go. That guy was kind of clueless. I am so bad with the new DMR, though. I cannot hit the shots. Oh, that would have been sick. There's another guy up here. I'm coming for you. Ha ha ha. Let's go. Now, since the Fortnite Mares event is going to be coming out in this update, that is mostly going to be what a lot of the leaks and changes are going to be on the 22.20 downtime update but i think we can all agree that that is perfectly fine with us because fortnite mares brings a ton of awesome stuff into the game every single year so the first big leak for fortnite mares 2022 is that we actually have a new upcoming boss for this fortnite mares event that's actually found in the files with the code name freaky which means it's actually going to be a new boss and one that we've never seen before now along with this hypex goes on to tweet saying that this boss can summon creatures drops an unreleased slash un known mythic weapon and a pumpkin launcher with two rocket ammo and it also drops two ammo stacks two consumable stacks and six fireflies once you actually take the boss out and for those of you guys that might have not played fortnite during a fortnite mares event it's not going to be like the stereotypical boss and npc that we see roaming around the map but instead it's actually going to be similar to previous fortnite mares bosses we've seen like the caretakers and also the storm king which are usually a very very big and difficult boss to take out but as you guys can see by these leaks, it is going to be dropping a new mythic weapon and the pumpkin launcher, which is probably going to make it worth fighting and taking out the boss. Now, along with this boss leak, it does confirm that the pumpkin launcher is going to be making its return for this year's Fortnite Mares event, which really shouldn't be a surprise to many of us. It is basically a staple of Fortnite Mares at this point. We're also going to grab this legendary hammer real quick as well. But the pumpkin launcher has actually been in every Fortnite Mares event since the very first one back in 2017 before Fortnite really went mainstream and blew up. So like I said, it's a staple of Fortnite Mares. And uh, if you guys didn't know, it, it's basically just the rocket launcher and RPG that we've seen in the early days of Fortnite. But instead, it actually shoots a pumpkin head and makes a very, very distinct noise, which... Um, I think all of us can agree we love that noise just because of how nostalgic it is. Now, something else the Hypex was also able to find in the files as well, and I thought this was pretty interesting. He goes on to tweet saying, Fortnite added a zombie version of chickens along with the jump scare zombies for this Halloween. No idea what they look like yet. So yes, the little innocent chickens that roam around the Fortnite island, we're actually going to be getting zombie versions of these as well. And although we don't know exactly how this new mechanic is going to work, maybe they'll drop special loot when you take them out or maybe they'll actually be hostile creatures like the wolves and hogs that can actually do damage to you since they are going to be like zombified we really don't know but i'm excited to see what that's actually going to look like as well and with that we also have the jump scare zombies returning as well which in case you guys have not seen those they are like little jump scares that pop out 
randomly, once you open doors, chests, ammo crates and stuff, they pretty much jump scare you when you're least expecting it. And um, then it's like this little zombie that basically just goes to attack you and you have to take them out. They can do a little bit of damage to you, but they're really not that big of a threat. They're really just there to like scare you when you're not expecting it opening chests and stuff. So it's kind of cool that those are going to be returning as well because it just gets... Because it just fits the Fortnite Mares theme really well. Now, some other things that are pretty much guaranteed going to be coming since they have been in every single previous Fortnite Mares event up until this point. One thing is we are going to be getting a new lobby menu for the duration of the Fortnite Mares event. And since Fortnite Mares launches on the 22.20 update, right after that update, the lobby is going to be changed. Obviously, we don't know what it looks like, but looking at previous lobby menus, you guys can get a decent idea of what to expect. It's obviously going to be dark. There's going to be pumpkins, candles, going to be kind of spooky looking, and um, it just gets you in the mood for Halloween, which is one of my favorite parts about Fortnite Mares is the lobby background itself, which seems weird, but um, I just love it, man. It gets the vibes right. Now, along with this as well, something else that also is confirmed, like the lobby menu that they do every Fortnite Mares event, but we are going to be getting some new Fortnite Mares quests and challenges to complete here in Battle Royale that are going to grant us a bunch of free rewards. Now, how many rewards and what types of rewards they're going to be is not confirmed, but um, just judging based off previous Fortnite Mares events and quests, we're going to be getting anywhere from like 5 to 10 free items and rewards, and they're probably going to be just all different types of cosmetics that are themed around Halloween and kind of have like that spooky vibe going with them. Bro, what was this guy thinking? Why would he roll up on me like that and shoot like he was using a submachine gun? Hello? Now, along with the new lobby and also the new Fortnite Mares quest that's going to allow all of us to earn a bunch of awesome free rewards, there is also going to be some map changes as well. Just like every other downtime update, the storyline right now is that the chrome is spreading across the map. In the last update, there was a bunch of new POIs that got covered in chrome. And this update, and this upcoming update is probably going to be no different. There's going to be no, there's going to be new POIs covered in chrome. And since it does have Fort Nightmares attached, there's probably going to be some there's probably going to be some POIs that also get spookified and have a bunch of Halloween decorations and kind of look spooky for the Fortnite Mares event. Even though it doesn't really go along with like the storyline in Chrome, there's definitely going to be stuff added like that as well, just to get the map looking like it's Halloween time on the island. Now, on top of that, something else the data miners were able to find in the files is that the shadow ghost from the Fortnite Mares 2020 event that we actually had with Midas's Revenge recently got updated here in the Fortnite Battle Royale files. And the only reason Epic would actually be updating these is if they were planning on releasing them and using them in some way, shape, or form for this Fortnite Mares event, which is pretty exciting because this pretty much confirms that the Shadow Ghosts are going to be returning. We could be seeing the LTM with the Shadow Ghosts come back for this year's Fortnite Mares event. Get out of here, brother. Oh my god, he tried to sneak up on us. Not today, my dude, not today. Yeah, that's what you get, brother. That is what you get. Oh my god, dude. We are so weak. So yeah, Shadow Ghosts are returning, and this also could play into the summoning creatures that we talked about earlier with the new boss as well. So the boss could be something with these ghosts, or it could be something completely different. But they recently got updated, so don't be surprised if they do return in some way, shape, or form. You know... I thought someone was in those bushes. Oh my gosh, dude. That is literally the worst, man. Like, I don't know about you guys, but getting headshot sniped by someone that's like camping and hiding the whole game, I wouldn't really be that upset, but it's the fact that this guy has two eliminations. So I know for a fact that he has been hiding this entire game, dude. Oh, that is literally the worst, man. I love that snipers are one-shot headshot, but the fact that like awful players can just get lucky like that is just, it's so annoying. All right, now the only other thing that is going to be coming out at some point during this update as well and could potentially be dropping right before the 22.20 update because it was found in the files in the last update is the new explosive goo gun, which I will throw up gameplay in the background so you guys can see it. Uh, it was featured in the Season 4 launch trailer as well, but it's literally a gun that shoots like a constant stream of goo that actually explodes whatever it touches. 
And um, yeah, it's a very unique and interesting weapon. It was found in the files last update, but it obviously hasn't come out. So they could be saving it until Fortnite Mares to have one other brand new weapon released in this upcoming update. So yeah, that's pretty exciting as well. And hopefully we see that at some point in these next few weeks. But with all that being said, that is all I got for you guys in today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.